Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday, FIFA Ultimate Team, and you know what Wednesday brings, the guaranteed TOTS SBCs and the start of the part of the week where the market starts to go upward in price and everybody starts to buy the cards they've been wanting. They've done some upgrade packs, they've done some of those, they've tried that out. And a lot of people on this game, after the guaranteed, go and start to figure out their weekend league teams, especially with weekend league rewards that come out on Thursday. But that's kind of be the basis of what we're talking about today. And it was just entered into the code tonight via Footwatch. And it was confirmed that we are getting the League on Tots SF guaranteed player SBC along with the MLS or Latin America Tots SF player SBC as well. So they're doing it the same way they did last week when there was two lower level leagues in packs. They're putting them both into the same pack. And that's how that's going to go this week. First thing I want to talk about is what are we talking for ratings? Ratings for these SBCs, what are we kind of looking at? For the League Un, 86 would be really nice, but I feel like it's going to be 87, and I feel like there's even a slight chance that it could be 88. If it's 88, that's one of the biggest scams I've ever seen, but I feel like EA thinks they could maybe get away with it with having Neymar, Mbappe, and Ben Yedder on the team. But I would really be looking out for an 87-rated squad with one tot. For that guaranteed SBC coming out today. And then for the lower league one, uh, I think probably 84 rated makes sense. They juiced these cards that, uh, that are in the MLS and that are in the Latin America TOTS. So since you have a guy like Martinez who's 400k, Opara 300k, Bella's 276, um, I feel like they're going to make this an 84 rated squad with Tevez, you know, being pretty expensive, the, the Fernandez cards, Salvio being all really good cards as well. So this seems like an Seems like an 84 rated squad for me here and an 87 rated squad for me on the league on. So let's keep talking about the SBCs, right? Are 83s through 86, 87 cards going to rise today? I think the answer to that is yes. Last week, again, you had all those 83s and 82s and the 84s and 85s that really bounced up. I think it's going to happen again this week. There's a lot more people investing in it this week, so they might not go as high. And the hype for, you know, CSL and and Air Divisi is going to be the most hype for a secondary league SBC or secondary guaranteed league uh, SBC pack or TOTS pack that we will get. But I would say there's some decent hype for this too. Tevez is, is a majorly hyped up player in FIFA, right? A lot of, you know, FIFA emotion around him. Uh, and even the Vela Martinez, the Opara is what some people say best center back in the game. So people are going to do this, right? 84 rated squad for a guaranteed TOTS player. They're going to do it. I do see the 82s looking pretty investable again, in my opinion. Uh, but I think the 84s right now, to me, are still pretty cheap. Latar Martinez, like 3K for these guys. Some of these guys might be 4, like, not 7K. Maybe 7K for a guy that links up really well. But um, they've already started to rise a little bit. Uh, but I think you're still in the area where you can see some of these 84s rise up to, like, five to 6,000 coins. The ones that have good links, good nationalities, uh, and that are in good positions, good linking positions. Um, you guys know what cards those are. We've been through this, you know, every week for the past th five weeks, basically on what cards you want to be looking at each week. So if you don't know which cards to buy, scroll through this page on Footbin, which is the, uh, basically click this drop down up here at the top, go down to cheapest players by rating. And you will see that if you go and click on some of these guys' graph, if you want to know which one of them rise, take a look at their graphs. Look at Javi Martinez. He bounces around every week. The last three weeks, boom, up to 5.86 K down to 4 K. Boom, up to 6K, down to 4K. Boom, up to 6K, down to, it was 3.5K earlier this week. He's now up to 4.5K. But if you can get this guy get this guy around 4K, he's probably going to hit 5.5 to 6K at some point today because of the SBC. So, not a terrible shot there. 85s are already up, about 1,000 coins of cards. So I'm a little bit iffy on those. 86s are still decently viable to me, around 13.5 to 14,000 coins. Most of them are at good league Good position, again, is key for a lot of these cards. Um, so, yeah, I think you're going to see 82 to 86 rated fodder go up today. 87s might go up a little bit, but if you're going to do anything with the 87 and higher, uh, I, you, I think you're just doing a club stock, at least right now, uh, for those cards. But if you do have any fodder, you do want to sell that fodder today on Wednesday, in my opinion. It might stay a little bit higher for Thursday, but with the supply from Weekend League Rewards coming onto the game, uh, a lot of the fodder stuff that you should see will hit its max within the one hour to two hour window after the guaranteed SBCs come out today 
on Wednesday. So that's kind of the fodder situation, how I see it with these guaranteed TOTS SBCs. Now, I want to spend a little bit more time talking about Thursday flips and trading with these uh, Team of the Season cards, especially from the League Un today. Because if you want to buy Thursday flips or cards to sell after rewards, um, I am thinking that your time to buy those is going to be today. And I want to talk about these TOTS cards as well, especially this guy. This guy was just 320K like 20 minutes ago. I looked at his price on Flipin. Now he's back to 340, 350. This card is rare, fluctuates all the time. And I expect this guy to really boom today after the guaranteed TOTS SPC comes out because I don't see him get packed that much from upgrade packs or... Uh, I don't think it's very possible he's going to get packed a ton from the guaranteed SBC as well. So I think this guy is going to be a massive riser, and there's a lot of demand for him as well, um, considering he's a the best French right back in the game. People remember him from last year. Uh, so I like this guy for a lot of hype and a lot of rising after the guaranteed tots today. When do you want to buy any... If you want to buy any of these tots cards for this weekend, if you don't think it's going to get re-released into ultimate tots, uh, there will be some of these that rise uh, from the morning time until into the night Wednesday, and they'll keep going higher a little bit into Thursday. The ones that are meta, the ones that people want to use the most. And to me, those are Renato Sanchez, Atal, Lala, maybe Awar and Depay, maybe Marquinhos. Those are the cards to me that I think will do well. Di Maria will probably do decently well too, just because he's gotten super duper cheap. Um, and then for your top guys, these guys are going to rise tomorrow as well. Uh, Mbappe, Ben Yedder, and Neymar, I would expect them to rise after the guaranteed SPC comes out because people that don't pack them are going to want to go out and try to buy them. I would just be very careful if you're buying any of those because all three have a chance to get an ultimate tots. There might be some panic selling on Friday morning, and especially if they get into ultimate tots, they're going to go down a lot more. So that would just be careful with those. But for the rest of these guys, if you want to buy one of them for your team, maybe to play with on Friday and Saturday, and then try to sell them before they drop off too much in the weekend league um, sell-off. I think Renato, Lala, especially those two guys, and Atal, those three actually are going to be the most hyped and have a possibility to rise today. So I would either buy them uh, before the SBC comes out. But actually, one interesting thing that I noticed last week was on a guy like Quadrado. I was watching Quadrado last week, and I was watching, um, I was watching Insigne last week as well. During the first hour of when those guaranteed SBCs came out onto the market, the guaranteed TOTS SBCs for the major league, during the first, actually not even the first hour, during the first like 15 to 20 minutes of when those SBCs came out, people started panic selling those TOTS cards. There was some undercutting and some panic selling on the actual team of the season cards, um, like Quadrado and like Manolas and Insigne. And even like, um, I was watching Milinkovic Savage as well. There was a short period of time, like right when the SBC came out, there was panic selling and the cards actually went down lower than what they were before 6 p.m. when the SBC came out. So there wasn't much panic beforehand. There was more panic uh, right when the SBC came out. So maybe you watch out for that today. But regardless, either before the SBC or right when the SBC drops is going to be the cheapest for some of these cards in the next two days with weekend league rewards and a lot of people wanting to use Renato Sanchez, Atal, Lala, and some of these other cards on the game. So if you want to buy a TOTS card for the weekend and you want to play with it in a short time frame, I think that's kind of your buy time. This Awar card has a lot of supply, but I still feel like he's somebody who could do really well today just because his card is very, very good. And this type of card for 200K, TOTS is crazy, man. TOTS really changes this market and it's going to change it even more next week during Ultimate TOTS. But this is crazy that this level of a card is 200,000 coins. This card would be so expensive if he would have been out during foot birthday or anything like that. Like this card is, the stats in this card is crazy. I know he's only got a three-star weak foot, but if you're playing him as like a box-to-box -box center mid, it doesn't get much better than this on an attacking standpoint from just like a distributor and from a an all-around box-to-box -box midfielder. This is a great, great card. And he's a FIFA favorite from last year his cards. Uh, and the stuff that he got last year in FIFA as well. So that's probably a card that could rise today. If you want to try trading with a few of these, you can. Again, I do feel like they will rebound a little bit. I don't know how crazy the rebounds will be, uh, but I do expect a few of these to rebound tomorrow after the guaranteed tots, heading into the rewards period as well. Some of them are probably just going to stay low tomorrow. Verratti, Thiago Silva, um, you know, 
Savonier might rise a little bit. Osamen could rise a, a small bit, but a lot of these guys are probably just going to stay in the same range because there's just not that much demand for them. There's really just not that much demand for some of these cards, so I wouldn't expect them to actually move that much. Depay Footpin says is 378, but it actually looks like he's three. Actually, Depay is pretty rare, so that could be a decent flip for tomorrow as well if you wanted to mess around with some of that. And I might try to snag him in the earlier time frame before the SPC would come out because I do would I do feel like this would be a card that would rebound tomorrow after uh, the Tots would come out. So that's kind of the deal with the team of the seasons that are in the guaranteed packs. Same thing for the lower leagues, right? Uh, like let's say uh, Opara. There's maybe some some panic selling on o Opara tomorrow. Maybe this is a point where if you really want this card. He's probably going to rise uh, through rewards and into the weekend. Kind of look at the the fluctuations of like a guy like Paulinho last week it might be one that you could look at for a fluctuation on a card like Opara or um, maybe Tevez or Josef Martinez. The the secondary leagues that are really hyped up, these guys will probably rise up through the weekend if they're really popular uh, until Friday with lightning rounds. So if you want to buy one of these two. Maybe you check their prices tonight with the guaranteed. If there's a little bit of panic selling, get on some of that with those cards too. Uh, so that's kind of the deal with TOTS cards. Again, so we talked about the requirements for the SBC, maybe trading with and buying some of the actual TOTS cards involved with the SBC. Let's talk about Thursday flips, all right? Let's talk about Thursday flips. I think the actually the lowest point of the market for a lot of these cards was actually Monday night. Monday night, late night. This Lacazette was 300K flat, like 315. I bought one at 315. I got a crazy, crazy time frame with this um, this Conte card. I sold a lazy one today at 480. So I got a crazy lazy buyer. Uh, but I bought all four of these at 300K or below. And he's back to his normal price of being around um, 370,000 coins. He's probably going to go into the 400s over the weekend. Again, I really like the French links and icon links. I talked about this earlier in the week, and I think Monday night was the kind of the lowest buy time. Some of the icons are still in a very good buyable price range. I bought this card at 299, which is almost one of his lowest points. He's still about 300,000 coins. I bought this Blanc at 400K. He's still chilling around the 400K uh, range as well. So the icons maybe haven't had as much uh, rebound as some of the special cards out of packs have. But just take a, take a look around. Look at the rare positions. Again, as I talked about in my video yesterday, look at the positions that people might need to fill with uh, French cards or with other out-of-pack specials that could be um, used in linking teams this weekend league. And I do, again, I really specifically like the icons because that's where a lot of people are now looking to link their teams together. A lot of people are also looking to trade with these icons on Thursday now. So there's a bit more competition but if you get in earlier, which is what we're trying to do today, you get in earlier, uh, you're probably going to do better because you're going to be buying earlier. Yes, you might have to sit there a little bit um, with those cards in your on your transfer list or whatever. But the earlier that you get in with some of these cards, especially as we saw last week, the better. Uh, and a lot of these cards have dropped off a bunch in the last week too. This Cedar was 550k last week, 530. He's now down to 360. 370k with all of the midfielders that came out with this tots with the um sbc cyprian that has come out a lot of people have sold some of the midfielders and now have tots cards but there's some people out there that maybe have a uh, de young that they want to link to uh depay right and they need another strong link in there to get to both of those cards for chemistry reasons maybe they'll use Seedorf, maybe they'll use a Cruyff, maybe they will use uh, another Dutch icon, Rijkaard as well. Rijkaard I flipped last week. The prime Rijkaard was a fantastic flipper last week. So just look around for your French icons and just icons that you see rising on a weekly basis anyway. Like this, I think this card's 300K. This is, re oh my gosh, 250? Some of these icon drops have been insane. 250K for this Rijkaard, that is crazy that's pretty crazy on some of these price drops so icons are still definitely viable for thursday flips i'm kind of liking those the most i like the middle and the baby versions the most because they're out of packs and a lot more rare but some of the primes are rising every week too so even this Ferland mendy was 240k consistently just this morning he's now up to like 260 270 so maybe there's some more panic selling on a guy like this 
in the morning, but people are starting to buy up the French out of pack specials and they're starting to see a rise. So maybe you focus on more of the icons this week if you haven't bought too much already, but you can still peek around on some of the French out of pack special cards for links to Tots cards that people might get from the guaranteed and, and try to use this week. Brazilian links are probably going to be decent as well because of Marquinhos, Thiago Silva. I'm seeing those guys packed a lot. Of course, PSG links as well. If there's any PSG cards that you could you could link um, to, you know, out of pack specials, maybe like, I don't know, I have to think of you. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but PSG special cards, if there's any out there, even versions of like Mbappe, right? Uh, I know we can talk about the gold Mbappe. I know some people think this is going to get over-invested. I'm still kind of a fan of this. 160K for one of the most OP usable cards in the game. And then Neymar is how much? Neymar is 250, 260. I still think this is really, really cheap for Neymar as well. Uh, it's crazy how cheap these guys have gotten this year with FIFA 20 being the year of supply on the market. I feel like these guys do rebound as they're out of packs. Uh, for this rewards set this week and then out of packs probably next week too for ultimate team of the season. So that's kind of how I feel about the Thursday flipping situation. I think you have you have the green light for me to buy cards today because what's going to happen is, and this happened last week too, with Makalele as the perfect example. This guy last week was 390, 400,000 coins, which I know is a lot higher than what he is now, but he was 390, 400K. Right when the guaranteed SBC came out, this guy immediately zoomed up to like 420, 430, 440. He kept rising into the night, Wednesday night into Thursday, as people were starting to invest in this icon because he was a very popular icon to link together because he had risen a lot in the previous week. People saw that and they recommended him, as I did. Um, but the earlier that you get in on this stuff, if you, if you can actually see low prices on some icons tomorrow morning, before 6 p.m. UK, pull the trigger. Absolutely pull the trigger tomorrow morning before 6 p.m. UK if you see low prices on French icons or icons that rise every week because they're gonna start rising after the guarantee comes out because people start investing for awards then and they also start building teams that they piece together for the weekend league. So that's kind of the stuff I'm thinking about right now with these cards in FIFA. That should be covering the full market movements for today in foot uh league unrares if you still have those and you're selling those uh they should probably be reaching their highest today they are ridiculously high at the moment like three and a half to uh, almost four thousand coins for most of these guys which is ridiculous it's like 40k per upgrade per upgrade pack for the league on upgrade which is ridiculously crazy but people are doing it and people are draining a lot of coins this week on fifa which is really why i like the 100k to 500k flips for this weekend league because I feel like some people are um, losing a lot of coins this week because of everything that is happening in FIFA, especially with the upgrade packs. So that's how I kind of feel about the market today. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Good luck on your guaranteed SBCs. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.